So we're over at the mall. Ashley wants to go in JCPenney. She has a coupon and she wants to see if they have some blouses. And uh, so we're going in the uh, newer entrance, I guess. No. This is the Disney side. This is the Disney side. Yeah, Disney's right through here. So uh, just going to see what they have. So they have a Best Buy Mobile, Abercrombie, The Walking Company. Oh, let's see. She. We don't know what she is. She is shoes. Airy. Uh, there's a Bath and Body. Um, I do. I have like five hand sanitizers at home under the bathroom sink. Yeah, you can have some. Abercrombie and then the children's places over there and then this is the um, this is the newer end yeah this is like it used to be uh, Sears and then they took Sears out and now they've put um, this is where like the they built the Cheesecake Factory they have a Vera Bradley Chipotle's here now um, they have a what is that called the SM m and m what is the h and m not s and m h and m sorry i said it wrong <laughs> there's a mural there um yeah i said it wrong sorry there's the uh vera bradley store we went in there thinking that they would have like the same vera bradley prices as they do at hallmark they don't <laughs> They have a Janie and Jack. There is Altered State, which they have one of these at um, the other end of town where we usually are. I like Kevin, I can keep things on there. Yeah. Clark's. I didn't even know they had Clark's there, Kevin. I like Clark's. See, the chat must be And then here's H&M, which they have some really cute kids stuff up there. And there's L'Occitane. Ashley likes them and Victoria's Secret so anyway we're at the other end and I'm gonna quit filming is that a different Victoria's Secret yeah there are two now I was how long so Ashley's gone in the fitting room to try on some things and uh, she'll be out in a minute she picked out two uh, dress shirts and we are in, what's the name of the store? We don't know the name of the store. Hold on, Kevin's... Clark and something? No, that's not it. What oh, Christopher Chris, Banks. Christopher and Banks, that's the name of the store. We couldn't think of Neither one of us can think of the name of the store. Oh, she must have not liked the other shirt. <laughs> oh, that is cute. So we're upstairs now in H&M. Look at those pants on the, um, the little bunnies on the pants. So, and look, the skirt. That is so cute. So we're upstairs at H&M, and I just want to show you over the top. How it looks up here. And down there is where we just came from. And there's all kinds of stores in this mall. I didn't show you, like, even part of them. So we just got off of the mall, and I can show you what I got. Um, this is Christopher and Banks. And I like this place. They have really good sales sometimes. This shirt was $15. And it's really, really cute. And they have a really nice selection of petites, and that's what this is. This is a petite. Was it a petite? No, this one isn't a petite. I tried it on a different one that was a petite. Um, uh, and then at JCPenney, I got a few things. And if you sign up for texts and emails online, which you can always cancel after you use the coupon, just saying, not that I plan to do that, um, they will text you a 20% off coupon. Um, I got these shorts for $15. Then I got this shirt for 
I swear she didn't bring up the shirt. She didn't. I swear she didn't bring up the shirt at all. I think well, she skipped it. Well, she was upset with you over the coupon. Yeah, she did not want to use my coupon. She didn't scan this tank top. See, or this shirt. See if you found the shirt on there. This the tank top and the shorts on there. But this shirt was really cute and it's a soft color. It's mm -hmm. a soft mm -hmm. feeling. And then this. Yeah, this is a, a Liz Clyburn. I actually didn't oh, tell you the brand. It's a Liz Clyburn Petite <laughs> Medium. Oh, I'm just trying to get you close up to it because the lighting is bad when I show it this way. This, I thought, looked cuter on than just hold it up to you because this is a really cute shirt. And it was only $13. Yeah, and that it will look good with anything. Yeah, it's really, really cute. But yeah, that's my buy. She did not ring up that shirt. She didn't ring it up. So, I guess I technically... So, that one was for free. Yep. Okay, so like Ashley said, we're home from the mall, and we only went in JCPenney, and since Esther, Esther recommended we do the shop kicks, is that what it's called? The shop kicks, we have started doing that. Kevin put it on his phone. Um, for those of you that don't know, it's an app for your phone, Kevin, it's right? And you get, hands. don't scratch the phone, and you get points, right? Yeah, you get kicks. And, but just by walking in stores and get kicks. Right. So and I've been doing it for like maybe a week. Uh -huh. And I've already got over a thousand kicks. And twelve hundred and fifty I think is five dollars. So you get a five dollar gift card for, for where? Twelve hundred and fifty to Target and all kinds of different places. There's a tons of different places on there. Yeah, so if you it's can a get app. Yeah, it's a free app. If you can get a gift card to places, heck we shop at Target all the time. If we can get a five dollar gift card, why not get a five dollar yeah. gift card? And you card? can get points for uh, scanning stuff in the store too, so we make a game out of it. Yeah. We'll go to Walmart and say, okay, let's go find these things and scan it. And you get like another 75 points or something just for scanning stuff. So Yeah, we scan the stuff and then walk away. Yeah. <laughs> I actually walked in Airy today and just walked right back out. I did the same thing with American, uh, American Eagle. Eagle. Walked in, walked right back out. And just get the points. And uh, since we were in JCPenney, we got those ones. Um, I found something out about Disney. We went in Disney store because they have the little, are they called Sum Sums actually? Sum Sums. Sum Sums. Uh, the little uh, creatures and they've come out with an Aladdin set and I was going to uh, see what they look like. I wanted to see them up close and they didn't have them. They said they sold out of them like the day they got them. They said that people st are standing in line waiting for them to open at 10 in the morning so that they can buy those. I did not know that they were a, that big of a deal. Um, I thought that you know, they would have them all the time just like they have anything else. Now I know why. When I go to the Disney store online, they never have any. They only have like four to choose from. And I'm thinking, something's wrong with this website or something's not working. Well, now I know um, they sell out. And I didn't even see those for sale on the Disney website. So it must just be in the store. So I bet you anything people are selling those on eBay because they're hard to buy. So anyway, we come home and Miss Ashley's making her a sandwich with ham. And I, I've got a video, but I haven't showed it yet of her doing that. And then Kevin's making him, you have salami, don't yeah. you? Salami and, and, and jalapeno. Jalapeno velveeta. Yeah, so that'll be good. Ashley, you don't, Ashley doesn't like sliced cheese. So you, Ashley doesn't like sliced cheese, I said. No, I like kind of grilled cheese, but that's about it. Well, Kevin's not at home right now. He's at work, but the doorbell just rang and This is a box that I got from Julia in Canada um, She we have the four Lay's do us uh, flavor uh, Competition here in the United States. They have it in Canada as well So Julia and I decided that we would exchange uh, chip flavors. I sent her the four from the United States and she sent me the four from Canada and I haven't actually opened the box. I just, I guess I can sit in the chair. Um, I just folded it over so I can keep my information personal and her information personal. So let's see. And she put them in there so neatly. I don't know why I couldn't find a box. I want you to see how neat that is. 
All four. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah. Yeah, I could not find a box to do that with. Okay, so. And these are the Canadian flavors. We have PEI scalloped potatoes. Scalloped potatoes, gratin, not gonna even try. There's that one. And so I'm gonna have to look up what these things are. Okay, and we have butter chick. Oh, this one came open. Mmm, that's okay. Oh, that smells good. That's so weird that that's in a potato chip. But I think these come open because um, I know Julia didn't send it to me open. I think what happens is the bags are puffed and with when they get squashed and stuff like that, I think they come open just during transit. It's just something that happens. That's okay. We will try these as soon as Kevin gets home and that way we'll make sure they're as fresh as possible. This is butter chicken though. Can't wait to try that. It smells really good. And we have... I want to be careful now. I don't want to, want to make sure. Okay, this one's open just a hair. I'm telling you, it's something with the pressure and the puff bags. Uh, these are cowboy barbecue beans. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> and that smells like barbecue beans. That's weird. That's going to that's gonna be so weird. Okay, and then the lastly, we have... Montreal smoked meat. Now this one is supposed to be comparable with our Reuben. So what I did was I went back to Walgreens and I bought a little bag like the uh, lunch size bag, I guess. And uh, so I'm gonna be comparing this with our Reuben to see if they are comparable at all, if they taste exactly the same or what. So anyway, Thank you, Julia. And the funny thing is, is I mailed her box the day after she mailed this, and she got mine first. So our mail is just slower. So anyway, I'll check back in with you later. So I actually showed you the stuff that she got from the mall yesterday. And this is where the stuff ends up, uh, right here on the banister. So I know that she doesn't have enough um, coat hangers upstairs. <laughs> So, um, I'm going to find some coat hangers in my closet and uh, hang these up. And Guido is snoring, as you can hear. Yeah, he is out of it. <laughs> Guido, the asthmatic dog. I think I think that is gonna be wonky because it's on the bed. <laughs> but I don't have any word to set it. Ah! And hopefully the cat doesn't knock it over. I need one. And she brought this dress down this morning. She was gonna wear it to work today, which is really, really cute. I don't know why she decided not to wear it. She does this all the time. She'll pick clothes out and then she'll she'll actually wear something different. But this is a really cute dress. I don't know where, I don't know if it has a tag in it or not. No, I don't know where that's from. So anyway, um, I'm going to figure out how many hangers I need. She need, had bought some shorts. I need one, two, three, four, four shirts and a short. I'm gonna take some extra ones, a couple of extra ones upstairs too. Just because I know she's bought other things. That's how I hang our shorts. Just with the free little hangers that some of the stores let you keep. Whoop. And the tripod fell over. Guido. Guido decided to move. Of course, the cat, the cat does not like the tripod. Cat does not like the tripod being up here. 
So he's trying to cause trouble. So, I don't know where I can set it that's going to be safe. So I'm going to put these clothes on hangers and then I'll check back in later. Okay, I got Ashley's clothes on hangers and the reason why it was wonky is because I put it on the tripod wonky. It wasn't because the cat knocked it over, the dog knocked it over. I found this other um, blouse on the couch in the other room and uh, Ashley did not show this during her haul uh yesterday this is from the dress barn and i know she got it on sale but i don't know how much she got it for i would assume half of that price uh but i don't know i think the receipt was in the bag i just didn't look at it so anyway i'm going to uh, take all these things upstairs we are at walmart and this is down the fragrance aisle and they have a lot of their um fall candles out uh, they have um, the pumpkin pit stop, the Glade, and then they have the um, Apple Time, Sunset, Hit the Road, uh, but they also have these. They have uh, pumpkin spice latte, pumpkin waffles, Rainforest Hideaway. I don't know if that's a Autumn Walk. <coughs> so they do have um, they do have a lot of their. <coughs> their fall scents out now. Here's apple cinnamon. There's the pumpkin pit stop, apple cinnamon. So they do have a lot of their scents out now. I want to show you they have the Mrs. Spinsters available now in a six pack. So I think that's pretty cool that you can get that in a six pack. You can also get these in a six pack. I don't think I've ever had those cookies before. Scooby-Doo snacks. Scooby snacks. Oh, and for all my English friends, this is the selection that we have here at Walmart. We have the pins and some shortbread cookies. Uh, there's the pumpkin cheesecake and carrot cake. Um... Hey, these say new. I'll be darn. Look, Sarah just sent these to me. The chocolate ones? Sarah just sent those to me, and Sarah, look, they say new on them. We have never had those before. The only kind we've ever had is just the regular. I can't believe they have those now. There's a rainbow up ahead of us. I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not. I'm going to try to zoom in a little bit. There we go. So. Hopefully you can see it. But anyway, we're leaving Walmart. I'll put it in a haul, what we bought. We bought more than, um, we bought more than I think we thought we would buy, but then again, we didn't buy much, if that makes any sense at all. Um, they did have um, a very, very limited amount of Halloween candy out, and they had a, um, a limited amount of fall items out, like um, scarecrows and uh placemats and things like that like things with pumpkins on them and stuff like that L truly fall and autumn and not halloween uh but we did buy one bag of um reese's cups because when you come in the door i've shown it before the i'll have a little table with a a bowl and i like to keep that full of candy during the holidays um, I don't know why. Um, any time of year, I don't do that. So, so I can so snack on it. Yeah, Kevin likes to get a couple as he walks through the room. So, um, but anyway, we also found some new things, which always makes me happy. And um, so, but anyway, you'll see that stuff in a haul. I just, I'm really bad about vlogging, and I'm especially bad about vlogging at night. And it is almost eight o'clock. And um, so Ashley called me while we were there and she said that she was gonna go lay down. She's already had her shower and everything. And uh, so uh, so when we get home, I know I, I won't even think to pick up the camera. I'll do my haul and we'll put everything away. And um, then the things that are new, I have to put a price tag on them because I like to tell you all how much it was. There's just, there's a whole process once we get home with the groceries. And uh, so anyway, I know I won't think to vlog anymore tonight. So I will say goodnight now.
He only wants Papa. Papa, Papa, Papa. He looks just like Andrew. He only wants Papa. Hi, you Andrew looking thing. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> Yeah, literally like pushed. Yeah, he didn't want her at all. Hi. 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 So, so guess what you get to look forward to? I'm a papa. You get to look forward to that. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, I love you. Oh, yeah. yeah, he wasn't finished with you. Oh, look. He's just loving it. Look at that. I'm I like that light right there. That looks so cute. Look, nothing. It's been forever. She's just not saying it like that. That's adorable. That was the birthday present for my mom. Shoes. You like my shoes? You like, like dollars too. Has she seen our shoes? Shoes, very good. Ashley, look at the placements. Oh, wow. oh I recognize them. We really like them. Yeah. They're clean. They're easy to clean, aren't they? Yeah, they are. And they're green. Oh, so oh, 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 he pooped and peed in the potty. Wow. Oh, yeah. And then hasn't done it again, but no. <laughs> How long do we have to sit there? Oh, no, instant. Like, oh, really? Like, like I gotta go? go. Yeah. Like, like, we caught him. This is the right time. Kevin, can I have a Hello. Kevin. Can I have a hug? Mommy, oh, mommy. Coleman. Can I have a hug? Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. The look of disappointment. Yeah. Come here. 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 Come no clue how to get this thing to the potty. No clue. I've tried the every hour thing. I've tried the thriving thing. Sometimes it's not ready. Ashley yeah. goes over to you when she gets it. Yeah. <laughs> didn't He's just not ready. I keep asking, but He's yeah, I'm not. I would like to have a potty train before January, though. Potty. The bad thing is, once you start potty training them, then you gotta take them to every store. You have to ask them, do you have to go to the bathroom? <laughs> Let's go to the bathroom. We'll get to know Walmart. And then the child will tell you that they have to pee, and then you'll be in a corner. Yeah, pulling a plunker. Hi, Ashley. Hi, Ashley. Hi, Ashley. Hi, Ashley. Hi, Ashley. Hi, well, it is 8 o'clock at night, and the reason I look very, very sweaty is because I just got off the elliptical because Kevin has set my Fitbit to 10,000. I think I've said that before, 10,000 steps, because I would get 5,000 steps really, really quick. I would get 5,000 steps by doing the elliptical in the morning, but I've been out of practice doing this because my Fitbit, uh, it's been gone. I've, I've been without it for like two weeks because it it like Kevin would plug it in at night and when it would get low and it would stop charging so the for some reason the charging thing of a ditty thing would not work and so he was having to like stick a piece of paper up in where it charges and then that wasn't even cutting it so then he ordered like two um, two new, I don't think I'm going to say this right. He ordered like two new charger things for the Fitbit yeah. off of Amazon. And so we tried one and we thought it was working. It worked for, an, for another two, three weeks probably. Okay. I mean, so for, for how much money did we pay for two or three weeks for those chargers? Probably 20 bucks. Yeah. So for, it wasn't worth it. Trust me. And they, they weren't from Fitbit. They weren't, so they didn't work. So what did you do to rectify the situation? Because uh, we hadn't had this Fitbit 
For a year? Right out of a year. A, okay. It was a year and a month, actually. And um, I just emailed Fitbit and said, I've tried resetting it, tried new chargers, new everything. Um, can't get it to work. It won't charge. It won't hold a charge. What do I do? And they said um, that they sent me a new one. So they sent me a new one. They and said, a charger. well, they didn't send the new band. They, they sent, sent a new charger and the Fitbit. Right. Itself. So when did I get it back? Yesterday? Last night? Last night. Yesterday. So, yeah, yeah, so I put it back on last night. And so today was my first real day having it back and having to get those 10,000 steps again. And I think. Kevin, Kevin probably regrets it a little bit having it back too because when I when I know how many steps I've taken, I'll ask Kelm every night, you mind if we go for a walk? Can we go for a walk? And because uh, everybody likes to have a walking buddy, you know, somebody to just talk to and be with and everything. And, and whether he likes it or not, actually walking, I think it's good for him to get out of the house. I think it's good for us as a couple to get away from the computer and the phones and just to, to be out and um, not be around anybody else and just be able to, to take that short, it's probably a 20 minute walk and then come back home. Um, so now that I have it back tonight, I asked him, do you mind if we go for a walk? But instead we ended up going over to a uh, visit with Andrew and Christina, which you saw that. And then uh, Kevin has been sick. So, you'll probably notice, normally I have a grocery haul that goes up on Monday, and I didn't intentionally do that, but that's just how it happened. We would go to the grocery over the weekend, and then um, I would just have everything together, and so the grocery haul would go up on Mondays. Well, this Monday I didn't have a grocery haul because we didn't go shopping um, because Kevin's been sick. So. He um, really just did not feel up to going, you know, tonight, and so that's fine, but I'm sure that he will regret a little bit having it back now because I'm going to be, I'm going <laughs> to, I'm going to be bugging him every night. Uh, you want to go for a walk? Uh, because normally when he gets home, I have about 8,000 steps, and that's by about 4 in the afternoon, so, well, around 76, 7,700. And um, so that little short walk just puts me right over the edge. It puts me right at 10,000. It makes me happy. Um, I do not like uh, missing a day. Um, yeah, now, normally on the weekend, um, on Saturday, I do not do the elliptical at all. That's my day off. So on Saturdays, I never get my steps. But six days out of the week, I like having my steps. And I probably have makeup running awful. Um, and my hair's falling down. Uh, but six days out of the week, I like having my steps if I can help it. So anyway, I will start bugging uh, Kevin again. And uh, so instead of playing games on the porch, we've been playing games on the porch a lot lately, if you follow me on Instagram. And now instead of doing that, we'll be taking our walks hopefully again if he's uh, feeling up to it. I think he secretly likes the days that it rains because he doesn't have to... Um, go for that walk but it's good for him anyway so i'm going to um end this vlog here i have no idea if this video is going to be long at all uh we have face off coming on tonight and if i could think of any of the participants in there to talk about i would but right now i can't even think of any of them uh big brother we could talk about big brother real quick before i get off here um, I was very disappointed that, um, Johnny Mike, is that his name? Mm -hmm. I was very disappointed that he did not win Head of Household. Was it, it was between him and, wasn't it between him Liz? and Liz? I think it was Liz. Anyway, I was so disappointed that they got control of the house again. I'm glad that Shelly's gone. Um, do not miss her at all. Um, but I just, uh, I, I, the next one I want out is, is her name Valerie? The card player? She's a polka player. Uh, that's a, is it Valerie? I no, think it's Val, Val Veronica. I don't know what it is. I can look it up. I think it's Valerie. Uh, my guess is Valerie. He's going to look it up real quick. But anyway, if you don't watch this Celebrity Apprentice, Vanessa. I was doing Joan Rivers, doing the polka player. Vanessa. Vanessa, so I was wrong. Vanessa. I want Vanessa out next. Who do you want out? 
Of course, she won't get out this week because they have control of the house. But who would you uh, like to see go? Any of that group. Any of them? Yeah. Any of that group? Yeah. I don't care about Liz or what's the other one's name? Julia. Julia and Vanessa and I don't care about any of them. And they act kind of bizarre. I think they, they, uh, hi, Julie. Yeah. <laughs> They just kind of act weird. They have a weird way about them. So, anyway, um, and we haven't been watching anything else, have we? We've been watching uh, The no, Great British the Baking Show, which I'm loving. We've watched that. We've watched the first two episodes of that. And we found a new show uh, that comes on after The Great British Baking uh, Show called An Extra Slice. Is that what it's called? An Extra Slice? Yeah. I think it's, it's so funny. It, it it's so good. So anyway, that's all we're watching right now. Uh, pretty soon, in just a couple weeks, though, uh, shows will start coming back on hot and heavy. So uh, I'll have to let you know what we're watching, and you can let me know in the comments what you all are watching. So it'll be fun. So anyway, until next vlog. Bye.